In terms of advice, I, I forgot to ask about just machine learning and deep learning for people who are specifically interested in uh, machine learning. How would you recommend they get into the field? So um, I would say re-implement everything. And also there's plenty of courses. So and, like from scratch? Um, so on different levels of abstraction in some sense, but I would say re-implement something from scratch, re-implement something from a paper, re-implement something you know, from podcasts that you have heard about. I would say that's a powerful way to understand things. So it's often the case that you read the description and you think you understand, but uh, you truly understand once you build it, mm -hmm. then you actually know what really mattered in the description. Is there a particular topics that you find people just uh, fall in love with? So I, I, I've seen, I tend to uh, really enjoy reinforcement learning because it's, it's much more, it's much easier to get to a point where you feel like you created something special, like like fun games it, kind of thing. It's rewarding. It's rewarding, yeah. <laughs> uh, as opposed to like uh, re-implementing from scratch, more like supervised learning kind of things. It's, it's yeah. So, you know, if, if someone would optimize for things to be rewarding, then it feels that the things that are somewhat generative, they have such a property. Mm -hmm. So yes. you have, for instance, yes. adversarial networks, or you have just even generative uh, language models. Mm -hmm. And uh, you, you can even see, um, internally, we have seen this thing with uh, our releases. So we have, a, we released recently two models. There is one model called DALI that generates images, and there is other model called CLIP that mm -hmm. actually, uh, you provide various possibilities, what could be the answer to what is on the picture, and it can tell you which one is the most likely. Okay. And in some sense, in case of the first one, DALI, it is very easy for you to understand that actually there is magic going on. Uh, and in the in case of the second one, even though it is insanely powerful, mm -hmm. and you know, people from uh, vision community, they, as they started probing it inside, they actually understood uh, uh, how far it goes. It's difficult for person at first to see uh, uh, how well it works. And that's the same, as you said, that in case of supervised learning models, yeah. you might not kind of see, or it's not that easy for you to understand the, the strength. Even though you don't believe in magic, to see the magic. To see the magic, yeah. It's a generative, that's really brilliant. So anything that's generative, because then you are at the core of the creation. You get to experience creation without much effort, unless you have to do it from scratch, but. And it, it feels that, you know, humans are wired. There is some level of reward for creating stuff. Yeah. Like, of course, different people have a different weight on this reward. Yeah. <laughs> In the big objective function. In the big life. objective function uh, uh, of a person. <laughs>